For years, Apple's Mac Mini has been the quiet powerhouse in the company's computer lineup, a small desktop that never got the same spotlight as the MacBook Pro or the iMac, but earned a loyal following among professionals, creators, and home users who wanted desktop-grade performance without paying a fortune. It's not a product you see on billboards or flashy Apple ads. It doesn't have the lifestyle image of the iPhone or the creative prestige of the MacBook Pro. Yet, the Mac Mini has built a cult status for one simple reason. It just works brilliantly. It's compact, silent, reliable, and surprisingly powerful for its size. And now, Apple seems ready to push it even further with what could be its most refined version yet, the M5 Mac Mini. Now, before we jump into everything new, from specs, design expectations, pricing, and Apple's bigger silicon roadmap, let's set the stage. The Mac Mini has always filled an interesting spot in Apple's ecosystem. It's the Gateway Mac, a compact machine that brings Mac OS power to anyone who already has their own monitor, keyboard, and mouse. For students, small studios, developers, and even digital artists, it's the perfect machine for a clean, minimal setup. And over the last few years, with Apple's shift to its own Apple Silicon chips, the Mac Mini went from being an entry-level desktop to a serious workstation in disguise. With each generation, Apple's in-house chips have made this tiny box faster, cooler, and more efficient. If you're someone who deals with 4K or 8K video editing, 3D modeling, or compiling large code bases, that performance bump could definitely save time. However, for everyday users, the ones who browse the web, edit documents, run light creative apps, or use their mini as a home office system, the difference won't feel night and day. And that's where the value discussion really begins. Because in the world of Apple, every new product not only brings fresh features, it also reshapes the pricing landscape of existing ones. Which means the arrival of the M5 Mac Mini might just make the M4 Mini one of the smartest purchases on the market. Let's not forget, the M4 Mac Mini, released in late 2024, was already an impressive machine. It launched with a starting price of $599, offering the new compact design, faster unified memory, and the upgraded graphics architecture. The M4 Pro version even featured Thunderbolt 5 support, front-facing USB-C ports, and up to 32 gigabytes of unified memory, making it a legitimate tool for professionals. Even today, it's one of the best value-for-money Macs Apple has ever produced. But now, as the M5 approaches, those M4 models are seeing major discounts across major retailers, sometimes dropping to $499 or lower. And if Apple's historical trend continues, those prices will fall even further once the M5 officially hits the market. That's fantastic news for budget-conscious buyers. Because while everyone loves the latest chip, the M4 is far from outdated. It's fast, power-efficient, and comes in a design that still looks futuristic. And let's be honest, a 15% performance gain doesn't justify paying hundreds more for most users. In other words, the M5 launch might actually make the M4 Mini the best deal Apple's ever offered. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate how far the Mac Mini has come. Back in 2005, the first generation was introduced as a compact entry-level Mac that encouraged Windows switchers to join Apple's ecosystem. Over the years, it went through quiet updates, often ignored by Apple for long stretches. Then, during the Intel years, it almost disappeared from focus. But the Apple Silicon era changed everything. Suddenly, the Mac Mini wasn't just a budget option. It became a performance sleeper. The M1 Mini stunned reviewers with its power per dollar ratio. The M2 brought better GPU cores. And then came the M4 redesign, which transformed the Mini into a modern, ultra-compact desktop with front ports and improved airflow. So when we talk about the M5, it's not just another upgrade. It's part of a rebirth story for one of Apple's oldest computer lines. Now, as far as design goes, don't expect much to change on the outside. The 2024 redesign was Apple's first major overhaul in 14 years, introducing a sleeker chassis and front-facing USB-C ports for easier access. That design is still incredibly fresh and looks consistent with Apple's overall minimalist desktop aesthetic. 
so the M5 Mini will almost certainly keep. That same look. Maybe there will be some new internal tweaks for better cooling or quieter operation, but visually, it'll remain the same, small, clean, and versatile enough to fit on any desk setup. So if the design isn't changing, what else might Apple focus on? Well, expect some refinements under the hood. Apple might expand the base storage or memory configurations, given the growing software demands. For instance, the Base M4 Mac Mini came with 256GB of storage and 16GB of RAM. Perfectly fine for most users, but limiting for creative professionals. With the M5 Mini, Apple could bump the Base SSD to 512GB or offer faster read-slash-write speeds to keep up with pro workloads. The company might also continue refining its neural engine for better machine learning and AI acceleration which aligns with Apple's broader strategy of integrating on-device AI across macOS and iOS devices. And that brings us to an important point, Apple's future direction. The M5 Mac Mini isn't launching in isolation. It's part of a larger Apple Silicon rollout that will touch nearly every major product line over the next 12 months. For example, the M5 iPad Pro is already in the pipeline, reportedly entering mass production in the second half of 2025. It'll likely feature the same M5 chip, slightly thinner design, and improved battery life. The MacBook Pro lineup, both the 14-inch and 16-inch, is expected to get M5, M5 Pro, and M5 Max chips in early 2026, though those models might be worth skipping if you're waiting for the rumored redesigned MacBook Pro with larger displays coming later that same year. And of course, the M5 iMac will also join the family, maintaining its colorful design but gaining faster internals and efficiency improvements. What makes the Mac Mini stand out among all these products is its unique role in the ecosystem. It's the most flexible Mac you can buy. You can pair it with any monitor, any accessories, and even integrate it into complex studio setups or server environments. Some people use Mac Minis as home media centers, others as rendering nodes, and even developers rely on them as compact build machines. Its versatility is unmatched, and that's why it's so exciting to see Apple continuing to invest in this product line. But let's talk release timeline, because that's what many are wondering right now. Based on multiple reports, the M5 Mac Mini will most likely debut in early 2026, alongside the M5 MacBook Pro and iMac refreshes. That's consistent with Apple's typical cycle, roughly 18 months between chip updates. Apple usually unveils its new chip generation in the iPad Pro first, as it did with the M4 in 2024, and then rolls it out to the Mac lineup in the months that follow. So we can reasonably expect a spring 2026 Mac mini launch, possibly through a quiet press release or a focused event, depending on how big the M5 rollout is across the ecosystem. Now let's look at what could push the M5 Mini even further ahead, connectivity and expandability. The M4 Pro version already introduced Thunderbolt 5, which doubled bandwidth for external GPUs, 8K monitors, and fast storage arrays. The M5 Pro could continue this trend with expanded lane support and possibly better display handling for multi-monitor setups. Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 6 e might also make their way into the M5 generation, offering lower latency and faster wireless transfer speeds. Perfect for modern creative workflows and streaming setups. So what do you think? Will you be waiting for the M5 or will you grab the M4 when it inevitably drops below $500? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into Apple's upcoming desktop roadmap, Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications because we've got massive coverage coming up on the M5 Max MacBook Pro, the iPhone 17 lineup, and what could be the biggest Apple event of 2026.